Hello everyone! So today we're going to be doing my manga or just general reading reset for March of 2024. I don't have too much to do in this video since I've been doing lots of reorganizing and other things, but I do want to obviously talk about my March TBR. I don't have a lot of manga left on my TBR as you know, but I do have a couple things I want to read in March as well as some novels I want to get to since I have been reading a few more novels than usual. And because I have been reading more novels, I have too many library books out right now, so I need to deal with that situation. My TBR card is kind of overflowing with them, so we will do that in this video, as well as going through my digital TBR because I do have quite a few digital volumes that I've gotten through the years, usually from Humble Bundles. And I keep forgetting that I have them, so I want to go ahead and just take a look at all of them, try to figure out which ones I really think I'm going to read, which ones I can kind of ignore. So we will do that as well in this video, but that should basically be it. So let's go ahead and talk about the manga I'm going to be reading in March. The number one priority, of course, is Alice in Borderland. This is completing on March 19th, I think, is when the final omnibus comes out. I have only read this first omnibus, but I don't think there's any way I won't enjoy this because of the genre of manga it is. It's kind of this death game thing, like an evil tournament arc, basically, and I love tournament arcs and death games and anything like that, so this should be very fun. Like I said, I've read the first volume. I definitely enjoyed it. And that's really the only series completing in March that I want to read. So I picked out a couple of shorter series that I've gotten recently that I just haven't gotten around to reading yet. The first one is Lost Lad London. This is a short three volume mystery manga by the same author as Glitch. Because it is a mystery, I don't really want to know what it's about other than the fact that there seems to be a dead mare and I assume these two characters are going to investigate that. We'll see, but I am looking forward to this mystery series. And the last thing I have for manga is Genkaku Picasso. I don't really know what this is about, except for it's by the author of No Longer Human, Usumaru Furuya. They also did Music of Marie, which I really enjoyed. This seems to be like an opposite Death Note, just from reading the back. I don't usually read the synopsis of things, but I'm going to read this one to you just so we can both learn what it's about because I just bought it because of the author and I heard it's kind of dark. But the back says, Having cheated death, Hikaru Homura must save himself by using his artistic abilities to help others. Hikaru Homura, nicknamed Picasso because of his natural artistic abilities, survived a horrible accident, but his friend Chiaki wasn't so lucky. Suddenly, Chiaki appears in front of him and tells him in order to keep living, he must help the people around him. Can Hikari save people with his sketchbook and a 2B pencil? No, I don't know. To me, that seems like opposite Death Note. Instead of killing people with a notebook, you're saving people with a sketchbook. So, sounds interesting. I've heard very interesting things about this from the very few people I've heard actually have read it. But I did recently collect it and I definitely want to give it a try, especially since really the only things I've been enjoying a lot lately have been dark horror stuff, and I assume this is going to get over into that direction. We'll see. But because I did end up reading five novels in February, I wanted to try to keep up that momentum. So I've picked out a couple books that some of them I have from the library. One of these, Chlorine, I bought during the Bards & Noble hardcover sale. I don't know much about this except for I think it's a weird book about a girl who might be turning into a mermaid. The inside cover says that it's blurring the line between a literary coming-of-age narrative and a dark, unsettling horror tale. So that sounds good to me. I really love this cover. I love how bright it is. I love the weird mermaid tale, and I do tend to enjoy these very strange, we don't really know what's going on stories, so hopefully I enjoy this one as well. And I have some fantasy books. So first of all, I have The Blade Itself. This is by Joe Abercrombie. I don't really know what this is about, again, because I don't look into things before I read them, but I do know this is a pretty highly acclaimed fantasy series. It's described as grimdark, and I believe that most of the characters are kind of morally ambiguous, but you want to root for them anyway. That sounds fun. I know this is a trilogy, and this book is pretty big, but I have a feeling I'm going to like this one as well. And then lastly for my TBR for March is another fantasy novel. This one is a standalone. It's called The Adventures of Amina al Sarafi. This is, if you couldn't tell from the cover, if I can show it to you without glare, this is a pirate book about a woman who was a famous pirate, but now she's settled down. 
but then she is basically given an offer that she can't refuse and she goes out to the seas again. I've heard fantastic things about this, that it's a very fun uh, pirate story, and I really need some fun adventure books to read, so I'm hoping I enjoy this one as well. All right, that's it for my March TBR. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the digital manga I have available for me to read. All right, so here's my Humble Bundle library. I have so many, so many manga on here. If you don't know what Humble Bundle is, basically, usually Kodansha will team up with them and just put a bunch of different manga available for super cheap, like $20 for like 150 volumes, I think was the most recent one. They're basically giving away their digital manga, and I don't read a lot digitally, but I feel like it's just silly for me to not get these. So throughout the past five years, I would say, I've gotten quite a few of them. Obviously some of these are ones I will probably never read just because they were bundled with something I do want to read. So I just ended up getting all of them. But we're gonna go through them now and I'm gonna see which ones I definitely want to read, which ones I even have on here because I don't look at here too often, again, because I don't read too many digital manga, but because I am almost caught up with my physical TBR, I need some more options after I do that. So let's go ahead and take a look. Right here we have a couple of cuckoos. This is by the same author as Yavana Kun and the Seven Witches, so I might actually read this even though it is so far away from anything I usually enjoy. And I've also heard terrible things about it, but Yavana Kun and the Seven Witches is kind of a guilty pleasure, so I might actually read that even though it's a rom-com. A Sign of Affection, unfortunately, not something I'm interested in. A Silent Voice, I already have the physical copies, so I know I have no problem reading that. Ajin, I've already read that as well. So this one is one I don't know anything about. It's called Altair, A Record of Battles. I assume that's like a battle manga, and there's eight volumes of that. I don't know if that's completed. I will have to do some more research on that. I would do it in this video, but there's just so many titles on here that I'm not going to have time. I think this is a comic, and then we have manga adaptations of the Bakamonogatari light novels, which I have not read either of those. Oh, and then we have the actual light novels, which I didn't know I had actually. That's funny. Then we have Battle Angel Alita, which I might actually read, and here's one of the big ones. We have all, I'm pretty sure all volumes of Beck which if you don't know is like a band music manga that I do actually want to read. And the singles are out of print. They've been out of print for years at this point, but I do want to read it. So I think it's complete at 34 volumes. I will have to do some research, but this is one I definitely want to put on a list somewhere as one I want to read soon. Blue Lock, I think I've read all 10 of these volumes at this point. If I read any more of that, I'm reading it on the K-Manga app. And Blue Period, I'm already caught up with Blue Period, so no problem with that. Can You Just Die, My Darling? I think this is like a psychological thriller manga, maybe. So this is one I have no problem reading. There are lots of these, like digital only. I'm pretty sure this is digital only, like thriller manga, horror manga that Kodansha has. None of them have been good so far. The only one that was good was PTSD Radio, but then they printed it. So, and at least the ones I've read, they have not been good. So I still want to kind of check them out, but we'll see. Sounds at work I dropped after the first volume. Clockwork Planet, I don't really have any interest in. Uh, Color of Rage, I do want to read at some point. Same with Crying Freeman. So I will have to put that on my list of things. We have some more things I don't know anything about. And then we have Descending Stories. I've read all that. Very, very good Jose manga. The Zombie Classroom, I've read that. Not a good manga. <laughs> don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro is not something I will ever read, likely. Dragon Head, I have read. It's a horror manga. I don't think I liked it when I read it. It was okay, but I might want to revisit that now that I've read more horror manga because I read this quite a long time ago. So I don't know, I might look at that again. Drifting Dragons, I want to check out at some point. The Drops of God was the most recent like crazy deal that Humble Bundle and Kodansha had on here. This is all 44 volumes, I think. So all every single volume of The Drops of God, I am amazed that this is on there. You can also read this on Kindle Unlimited, I think, but I don't really want to pay for another subscription at this point. So having all the volumes available here is amazing. This is a series I've been interested in for a long time. I wanted to buy the physical volumes, but that set was never completed in English. It has a really interesting release because the mangaka heard that it wasn't going to be finished in English, and I think he or they personally selected the stories that would go in the final volume. So I do eventually want to collect it, 
but I figured I should read it digitally first before I try to take on that task because I don't like looking for out of print manga. It is not enjoyable to me. Okay, next, Eden Zero. I do kind of want to read Eden Zero. I know everybody hates on Hiramashima and I will admit his stories are not good, but they are fun. So I do kind of want to read Eden Zero, maybe when it's completed. Then I have a bunch of fairy tale stuff. I have read all of fairy tale. I used to own all of fairy tale, but I don't anymore. So it's nice that I have these. So if I want to ever reread it, I can. Next we have Farewell, My Dear Kramer. This is very good. This is how I read the series before it was printed physically by Kodansha. They had it available digitally. I read it all on here, I think or when it was on the Crunchyroll manga app. I can't remember, but either way, I think I have all the volumes except for the final one. Fire Force, I dropped after volume four, I think. Like actually right in the middle of volume four. So not interested in that. Flying Witch, I keep forgetting I have these digital volumes. I have heard good things about this, but it is a slice of life manga and I struggle with those. So we'll see. Fort of Apocalypse is another one of those digital only horror thriller manga that I have to check out, but I'm not going to at the moment, but I will eventually. I'm pretty sure this is completed at seven volumes. I might be lying or thinking about something else though. I have all 10 volumes of happiness, which is an uh, interesting vampire manga from Shuzo Oshimi, but I own it physically as well. Heaven's Design Team, again, another manga I forgot was on here. That's why I'm doing this. I do want to check this out. I've heard very good things about it. I'm standing on a million lives. I don't really know what this is about, but it looks kind of dark. So I will eventually have to read this. Inspector, I don't know enough about to be interested or uninterested. In Yashiki, I like the anime for this. I've watched the anime. It was very fun. Um, this is probably the only series by this author that I will ever read though. Asane, this is where I read it from when I read it a couple months ago, or I tried to, I read two volumes of this. This is one I do kind of want to read since I have all 14 volumes and it was okay, not terrible, but we'll see. This is by the same author as the new release, Steel of Celestial Shadows. Here's more Monogatari stuff or other things by that author. Lady Snowblood, again, this is another one I forgot I have. This is one I do want to read. I'm pretty sure this is all the volumes. Land of the Lustrous, I have volumes one through five, but I own it all physically. Lone Wolf and Cub is one I do want to read. I'm not sure I will like it, but it is a classic. So I kind of feel like I have to read it since I do have it in a digital bundle. This should be all of them. I don't know the volume count of this series off the top of my head though. Love Hina, I won't be reading that, unfortunately. <laughs> I have how many volumes of Medalist? The first volume comes out physically very soon. So if I like that, then maybe I will read these eight volumes. I'm pretty sure this is also available on the K Manga app. So we'll see. Most of these probably are on the K Manga app, but I think this one might be doing some simulpub releases for the chapters. Don't quote me on that though. Here's a big one. We have all volumes of Mushishi, which has been out of print forever. I'm pretty sure it was out of print when I started making videos almost 10 years ago now. So this is a very highly sought after series, but I just have it digitally. So I should read this. It's very highly acclaimed slice of life, supernatural series. So I should read that. Nina, the Starry Bride is not something I'm interested in, although these covers look nice. Noragami, I have read through volume 23 or something and then I dropped it. Parasite, I should just read these, but I'm waiting for the full color collections to finish and I will read those instead. But I do have this. Path of the Assassin by the same author as Lone Wolf and Cub, which I should read as well, if I enjoy Lone Wolf and Cub. Police in a Pod, I don't know what this is at all but doesn't sound interesting to me personally. Princess Jellyfish, very, very good series. I love that series. I have all the volumes, both physically and digitally, looks like. Princess Resurrection Nightmare, I don't know what this is about. Looks kind of dark. This girl has a chainsaw in lots of these volume covers. So I don't know, also a long series. Looks like 20 volumes. If you've read that, let me know what you think of it. PTSD Radio, so good. I love PTSD Radio. This is how I read this originally. I actually think I liked reading it better digitally because the kind of jump scares, you can't see my air quotes, but the jump scares worked better just seeing one page at a time rather than the entire spread, if that makes sense. But highly recommend that horror manga. Pumpkin Scissors, I don't know anything about this either, but looks like an action series. Eventually I will have to check out that. Rave Master, here's some more Hiramashima. I have not read Rave Master because again, 
it's very out of print, but I'm pretty sure I have all the volumes here. So if eventually I feel the need to read some more Hiramashima, I have plenty of that on here. Samurai Executioner is the same with the other series by this author. Sankarea, I think is like a romance with a zombie girl, maybe. So not personally interested in that. Seven Deadly Sins, I dropped after the first volume because it was horrible. Shaman King Zero, I think is a sequel to Shaman King, which I have not read, so can't read those. Shangri-La Frontier, maybe I would try that. It doesn't seem like something I would be interested in. It's an isekai, isn't it? I could be wrong, but I'm not sure I'd be interested in this, but I have 12 volumes if I ever need something to read. Shikamori is not just a cutie, is not something I'm interested in at all. Space Brothers though is something I need to read on here. It is quite long. How many volumes of this do I have? 34, I think this is still ongoing or it just finished recently. This is one I do want to read. I've heard amazing things about it and it doesn't have a physical release, so this is the only way I would be able to read it. Starving Anonymous is another like random horror manga that I got through one of these bundles. I think this one is completed at 7 too, but there's like a sequel series maybe. I could be mistaking this one and one of the previous ones. That time I got reincarnated as a slime is not something I'm interested in. To the Abandoned Sacred Beasts is something I'm interested in. Is this series complete yet? I remember before the manga boom, Several people were talking about this. It sounded really good, but I was waiting for it to be completed before I tried it out. And I don't know if it is yet. How many volumes of this do I have now? Seven? But I think this is like a supernatural paranormal story that takes place during the American Civil War. And it looks pretty dark. So eventually I will have to try that. Two Year Eternity, I dropped after, not volume 11, I think it was volume 13. I have some Tokyo Revengers, not very many, so I would just read my physical copies of this. Until Your Bones Rot is one of those horror manga that I read actually, I've read this one, it was not good. This is more like a mystery though, not really a horror, but then I have a bunch of Inland Saga. I own all these physically, but it's nice to have the option to read them digitally as well if I wanted to do like a quick reread. Same with What Did You Eat Yesterday? I only have volumes one through 10, but I have the entire series physically. This doesn't look like anything I would like. I have Witch Hat Atelier, fantastic. I already own it physically though. Ya Boy Kongming, I think this is a comedy manga. I probably wouldn't like it, but yeah. Then we have Your Lie in April. I have all these volumes that I don't like. I've read all of Your Lie in April. Very unpopular opinion. I really don't like that manga at all, but it's probably not to my taste anyway. And then lastly is another Monogatari light novel, which I didn't know I had that many of those. Uh, but yeah, that's everything I have in terms of my digital collection, or at least most of it. I think I have some random Bookwalker volumes, but not enough to make like its own video like this. So please, if you've read any of these, let me know which ones I should prioritize or which ones I should avoid. That's actually something I'm more interested in personally. But yeah, I don't really have much else to say here. I will probably eventually create a list of all the things I'm prioritizing here and maybe add it to my TBR jar once I'm completely caught up with my physical TBR, but that is something for a later video. All right, so as you can probably see, my TBR cart, where I usually put all the manga and books I wanna read in the month, has been completely taken over by books I've re recently purchased or books I borrowed from my library. And so I want to go through these and figure out which ones I need to return and which ones I'm going to hang on to for a little while longer and hopefully read before I need to return those. So let's start by figuring out what I have and which books I've already read so I can immediately return those. All right, up top here we have some books I've bought recently. This one, this one I have read already and I gave it three stars, so I'm going to probably donate this to my local library. So I'll move those off to the side and then we also have some more library books here. Jade City, if you can see, and The Blade itself. So those are the two I got from the library most recently, so I'm going to put those back on the shelf after I've figured out the rest of this stuff. All right, I moved you a little bit closer so we can see what's going on, but I'll start over here. Silver Under Nightfall, I read this this month and I loved it so much that I went ahead and bought myself my own copy. So this one I can definitely return, obviously. This one I got recently, so I'm going to hang on to that. This one is Mary and the Birth of Frankenstein. I can't remember what this is about, except for maybe it has something to do with Frankenstein. I think it's about Mary Shelley and her creation of Frankenstein, but it's a fictionalized version, I believe. So 
I will hold on to this one. This isn't one I like want to read right away, but I don't think it's due for a while, so I'll keep that one. Th these two, I think they're both horror. I know Into the Drowning Deep is horror. It's like mermaids, evil mermaids, man-eating mermaids, and then this one is, I don't know, just a generic horror, I think, or a thriller. I do want to read both of these, but unfortunately, they are already due at the library, and I don't have any renewals left for those, so I have to return these. I can start to see all the random junk I have back here, but these are all books that I have bought recently, or semi-recently, in the past three months or so. There's some more back here. This one I got from my library used book sale. I got it for 50 cents, and I've heard really good things about that book. And then I have ones that I think you've seen before, this is Carmilla. It's like the classic vampire story besides Dracula, but this came out before Dracula. And then I have The Picture of Dorian Gray, which I've had for a very long time, and I've still not read that book somehow. So I'll go ahead and put these two new books up here. I'll put these two back, and these two new ones will go here as well. For this shelf, I think most of these are going to be returned. Let's start with this one right here. This is one I tried to read. It's like a fantasy. It's kind of urban fantasy because I think it partly takes place in the real world, which I already don't really enjoy. But also it's first person narration and I really struggle with first person narration, especially in a fantasy book. So I'm gonna go ahead and return this. I did read like three chapters, but that's not even enough for me to put it on my Goodreads as a DNF. I just decided to stop reading it. Trust is one I'm currently reading, so I'm not going to return that one. Piranesi is one that I've read. Unfortunately, I did not enjoy this one as well, but don't let me forget my bookmarks in here because I really need them. So I'm returning that one. The Secret History, I definitely want to read, but this one also has hold, so I have to return it. So I will go ahead and place another hold on it to hopefully read it again in the future. I'm going to read this one. Night's Edge is a vampire book, which I was going to return, but then I recently heard interesting things about it. So I will just keep this here. It doesn't need to be returned yet. Same with The Woman in the Library. This one I have like a week or two left. The Maid I have to return because it's been too long. I'm kind of interested in this, but then I read some reviews and it doesn't seem like something I'm going to love, so I'm fine returning this one. And then again, this is one I do want to read, but I've just had it too long, so I need to return it. And these two kind of have a similar theme going on, at least on the covers. I picked them up because they both have lots of teeth on them. So yeah, I haven't heard anything about this, but I have actually heard very mixed things about this one. So I do want to read that. So I think I'll hang on to this one, but I will return this one. How can you not pick that up when you see that cover sitting on the shelf at the library? All right, so now I have enough space to bring up the books that were on the bottom shelf of this TBR cart, and I have some extra room for more TBR books or more library books if I decide to go crazy at the library again. So yeah, that was everything for this section. If you've read any of these books that are currently on my TBR cart, and you have any thoughts on them, please go ahead and leave those comments down below because I'm trying to figure out which one of these I need to prioritize reading and which one of them I'm okay with returning to the library and maybe checking out later or just forgetting about them. So with that, I am returning nine books and donating one more. So a little bit more manageable now. All right, that was everything for this month's reset. If you've read any of the books I talked about at the beginning of this video and you have thoughts on them, please go ahead and share those down below or let me know what your plans for March are. I'd be very happy to hear from you, but that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.